What's poppin' Savvy Investors? It's your Savvy Investor Dex here, back with another banger. And in this video, I wanna talk to y'all about a creative financing we deal we did, particularly an owner financing deal we did. I'm gonna tell y'all about where the deal came from, how did we close the deal, and how did we sell the deal. Right here, strap in, Lego. So guys, this lead came in through a marketing channel that we recently got on about three weeks ago, my partner, about three, four weeks ago now. And normally from this marketing channel, from my research, you typically don't get deals as fast as we got a deal. So I don't want you guys to take this and go out there and just dump a lot of money into it without doing your proper research. Anyway, this first lead came from PP. A PPC lead, for those of you uh, that don't know, is pay per click. We just started uh, Pay Per Click a few weeks ago with Google Ads, like I said, maybe a month ago. And this lead came in within a week of us running ads. The lead comes in, I give the lady a call back. I'm the lead acquisitions guy on our team. I give the lady a call back. Uh, it's a really small house in a really small community, really small numbers. So it should be really easy for you guys to wrap your mind around, right? So the ARV on this property is about 75,000, 85,000. House is totally burned up. Uh, not totally burned up, but I, I would say about 65, 70% burned up, right? Um, she wants to get $12,000 for the house. So I asked her, has she had any other offers besides me? Or has she considered renting the property? Or I mean, not renting it, but listing the property with an agent, right? She says, no, I don't want to list it. Uh, because I, I'm not trying to sell it for a whole lot of money, so I want to get everything. And number two, I have talked to other people that have purchased the property, but they're offering me $3,000. She was like, the best offer I got was $3,500. And that was contingent upon like a 10-day inspection. This home is going to have to get about, uh, I would say $65,000 worth of work, 40, 40 to 60 grand worth of work, depending on what you're going to do with it. She tells us, if you're going to lowball me, I don't even want to entertain the offer. I'm not going to entertain anything around there. I said, I'll tell you what, you said you want 12 grand. I asked her a slew of questions, kind of like this. First of all, is, is there any debt on the property? Meaning, do you have a mortgage? Do you have any kind of loan against it? Did you refinance? Did you get a HELOC? What, is, is there any kind of debt against the property? No, Dexter, there's no debt on the property. Taxes are paid up. There's no code enforcement liens. She actually even went into the conversation of telling me, hey, I want to get this cleared up before code enforcement get, gets involved. They're having a hearing about the property in a few weeks or so, simply because no work was being done to the property. She kept the yard cut, the taxes was paid, all that good stuff, right? Here comes the gold. After I figure out that there's no mortgage on the property, there's no debt on the property, I ask her, well, let me ask you this. Um, what would you do with the money if you got all $12,000 today? She was like, well, I got a vacation planned and I will put some up. I said, so it's fair to say that you don't just necessarily need all 12,000 right now, but you definitely want to get 12 grand. Yes, I want to get 12 grand. I offered her $2,000 down, $250 a month. I think it was 40 payments for 12 grand. That would have been two grand uh, down, bringing it down to a 10 grand purchase price. Spread out over the uh, course of five years at $250 a month, if I'm not mistaken. 0% interest. She said, yes, Dexter, I'll do that. Well, rewrite the deal up, okay? Now, let me go through the deal again. She's getting two grand, two grand down in her pocket, which will bring the balance down to that of the home down to 10 grand. The payments are $250 a month at 0% interest for five years. 40 payments can pay it off at any time, penalty free, right? That's the deal. We start marketing this deal. Now, I do a lot of the marketing for my team and my partner as well, but he's more so behind the scenes, making a lot of the other stuff move that moves in our business. But I get to marketing this deal real heavy like I do, and I go to Facebook Marketplace because it's a Facebook Marketplace kind of deal, right? And I reach out to a community of people that I work with in the, uh, in the Hispanic community, and they love deals like this. Love deals like this. Well, a guy actually, calls me from from another connection that i made with another uh gentleman on facebook and he's like dexter i'll take the deal well he was his english is, was pretty broken 
but he said, hey, I'll take the deal. I want to look at it. Let's let's do it. You know, I, I could definitely do do the two grand down. So I tell him, um, I said, well, actually, you know, it'll be thirty five hundred down minimum um, for our assignment fee. Right. Uh, he's like, fine. No problem. I have a contact that I work with here locally that uh, is fluent in Spanish and he's like the top uh, closing attorney at the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. He's uh, very credible, been in the business about 20, 30 years, something like that. Uh, like I said, uh, he's from the Spanish community. So it's a lot easier to bridge that gap as in regards to making people feel comfortable um, doing transactions like this. And I connected those two dots and they hit it off real well. The guy called me, he was like, yeah, great, I wanna do it. We got the deal closed. We made $1,500. The seller got her full 12 grand asking price just on terms, 2K down, and everybody was happy in the deal, right? We got this deal within six days, seven days of starting our PPC campaign. And we would have never gotten this deal if we didn't understand creative finance. So that was the whole point of me coming to y'all today, shooting this video. Uh, we just closed on this one a few days ago. Uh, guys, you gotta learn creative finance. It definitely changed the game for me. I don't even see deals as cash anymore. I go in creative finance and cash second, but that's a whole nother uh, video on how I break down my offer to sellers. I appreciate you guys for checking it out. It's your Savvy Investor Dex, and I'm out.